Hello YouTube people. This video is called An Update on Las Mogan. The pros and the cons. Okay, right now I'm looking at you guys, but I'm going to be looking away from the camera lens a little bit because I can't see myself while I'm looking into my iPod's camera. So bear in mind I am talking to you. Okay, all right, here we go. Anyway, these are the pros and cons of Las Mogan. Okay, and this is in a 1B, which I wish I had got it in jet black. Anyway, she looks a lot better in my iPod camera than she does in my bathroom mirror. Okay, I was, at first I was complaining about her, and then I changed my mind and did a video concerning uh, the same subject, only this time I was feeling better about her. Well, I don't wear her that much, so this will be my third or fourth time wearing her today. And what I have to say about her, the pros is that she is fluffy. She still has that European wave to her, or Spanish wave to her. And I don't have to worry about covering my edges because they kind of blend with the wig. Okay, but my second problem with her, the cons, is that she looks like a hellified mess when you first put her on. There's no parting space. I kind of wish that Vanessa Collection had made her to be a laced front so at least that way you'd have some parting space and you could you know do what you want because other than that it's just hair coming out of everywhere and uh, it reminds me of the 80s you know back in the day and I uh, I could appreciate that back then now I kind of wish she was a lace front so that she could be parted and you'd have you know a bit of a scalp there or whatever uh, the other cons I have like I said she's messy um, Underneath the neck part, you can't see here, but I've had to like defuzz her. <laughs> and like I said, this is only my third time wearing her, so uh, I have her in other colors as well. I want her in every color, so I guess I'll work on that. And uh, pretty much that's about it um, for all of you who don't know enough about her. She is uh, 30 inches on me, I'll show you here, or 28 inches. Okay. All right, 26 to 28 inches on me. And I have her all pulled into the front. So when you push her in the back, she's layered, so she looks considerably shorter in the front. Okay, and that's just my take on her. This is a really short video to let you guys know that this is how she tends to look after, you know, maybe two or three wears. She's still okay. She's okay. But if she does get worse or if I think she's starting to get all fuzzed out, I'll let you guys know and I will warn you ahead of time because I'm not one to like reorder something if it doesn't work out. And like I said, I have other two other colors, uh, Tiramisu and I have F2217 and I have a toffee, I think, yeah, a toffee. So I will eventually do updates on those too. I have over uh, 50 or 60 wigs, maybe 50 at the most, I haven't counted, so I never do get around to wearing them all out, but uh, I'm hoping that this will last longer than some people say that it does, because some people say, you know, a month tops and you throw her away, and I'm hoping that that's not going to be the case with me, because I certainly won't wear her that long if that's what's going on, but anyway, just letting you guys know, she's still got the Spanish wave to her, uh, and like I said, she fuzzes up a bit at the nape of the neck, and I guess that's to be expected. So that's my update on Las Mogan. And uh, remember I said she's messy when you first put her on, and you really have to work with her before you leave the house. At least I do. All right. Well, anyway, thanks for watching my update. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.